Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to explain your decision tree regressor model. So in the previous video, I showed you how to build a decision tree regressor model and then I showed you how to get the error metric scores for the decision tree regressor model and in this video, I'm going to focus on showing you how to visualize the features that make the most impact on your model. So I'm going to focus on showing you like, okay, so you've made your model, you've gotten your scores, but how do you know which columns in your data frame has the most impact on your model and how it impacts your model? So this is one technique for explaining your decision tree regressor model. And if you keep watching this channel, if you subscribe to this channel, I release videos on other techniques for explaining data science models. So first of all, let's go ahead and get a preview of the columns. So these are the columns. So these are the columns that are in our data frame. And we can go ahead and add these columns to a variable so we can use it. And now I'm going to show you some, something called future importances. So in the last video, our model name was DT. We called our model DT. DT is equal to decision tree regressor. Okay. So after we have run the model, the model has something called future importances. So if you do DT dot future importances, you will get this values right here so basically each one of these future importance corresponds to a column right here this future is importance is kind of describing the impact of each one of these columns in, on our overall model right now if you're just looking at this if you're just looking at this future importances right here you wouldn't like be able to make sense of it you can't quickly see or visualize like which columns in your data frame has the most impact. So we are gonna take our columns and we're gonna combine it with our future importance. All right. So let's call it combo is equal to PD dot series. So earlier I imported pandas as PD, and I'm just gonna create a panda series between our future importances and our columns. So this is importance and then columns. And let's just type in combo right here and get a preview. As you can see right here, these column names has been associated with their corresponding future importance. And as you can see, that's what this is right here. Okay, so basically took our future importance and combined it with um, their corresponding columns. So now this is the part where we actually visualize these future importances. So first, let's go ahead and import matplotlib. If you are in Google Colab, matplotlib is kind of like already installed. But if it's not, you can just install it. But if you're working in VS Code or if you are working in JupyterLab and Jupyter Notebook, make sure you install, mat you install matplotlib in your environment before you start before you try to do this if you don't install matplotlib in your environment you won't be able to use it so we've got our graphing library and let's go ahead and define define our figure size let's just make it a i don't know six by six now let's do combo dot search want to sort our panda series that we just created and then we want to plot it and then we want a bar graph and we want the color to be red so basically right here we are saying that first we want to sort our series to so this series that we created here first we want to sort it and then we want to plot it so am i able to do the plot here because of my plot lib and then I want a bar graph and then this age means horizontal. So I want a horizontal bar graph and I want the color of the bar graph to be red. 
and now let's just duplicate it our title let's just give it a title so let's go ahead and run this and this is what our graph looks like and this graph is a little bit too tall let's do it let's make a four by six and see what it looks like uh so this is the width so I want a six by four <laughs> Okay, so this is our graph right here. As you can see, HIV AIDS is the column that has the most impact on life expectancy. This model is trying to predict life expectancy. So using this visualization, we can see that HIV AIDS has the most impact on life expectancy, followed by schooling and then followed by thinness, BMI, alcohol, thinness again, well, I guess you could argue thinness 1 to 19 years could be redundant of thinness 1 to 5 years. So these two comes could potentially be combined. And then population, total expenditure, polio, GDP, and other stuff. And whether they have the status of developed or developing doesn't have any impact on their life expectancy. So this is one way to quickly visualize your decision tree regressor model or basically any model that you create this is just one method for visualizing it you can find me online at evidenceend.com this is my primary website where i write data science blog posts and as time goes by i'm gonna create more and more data science blog posts and you can find them all online right here and to get access to this notebook that I use in today's video and many other notebooks, just go to machinelearningeducation.com. So this is a platform I created specifically for putting all my data science resources in one place. So if you go to free data science resources from machinelearningeducation.com or even from my website, you go to free data science resources, you'll be able to get to the same page. You get access to all my data science resources like this notebook that I created today and my videos and blog posts are here. I make a lot of YouTube videos and blog posts and I just find it easier and more straightforward to take all that content and put it in one platform so you don't have to like search my GitHub, search my blog, search my YouTube for stuff. You can come you can just come to one platform and get access to all the notebook and other resources that, that I've ever used in my videos. And that link again is machinelearningeducation.com slash free. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.